Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. We're in Miami Beach at South Beach, 14th Street. It's about 83 degrees. Hey, let's go see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. Today's beer is Key West Southernmost Wheat, Belgian style wheat ale, which is a beer brewed with spices and key lime. So, we'll see what this is all about. This is brewed by the Florida Beer Company out of Melbourne, Florida. It is a wick beer. Doesn't have any notes on what the ABV is on it. Uh, let me see what, what you call it. Nobody has a note on what the AV is. So nobody knows how much alcohol is in this beer. Isn't that odd? Uh, this is a year-round beer. The glass wire for today, we're going to use the pint glass. The food pairing for this, the cheeses would be the peppery, the Monterey, the pepper jack, the edam, the feta, uh, the tangy cheeses, your more pungent cheeses. Uh, they say the general food is a salad. And the meat would be the poultry fish and the shellfish. So the beer is not recommended for scented celery, so let's bust a cap on it and see what we got. It almost pours like a lemonade. That must be the lime in it. Unless somebody peed in my bottle, I don't know. <clears throat> there you go, you have to see the bottle, baby. Very cloudy beer. Uh, just coming out of the refrigerator. It's probably around 40 degrees or so. It does look. It looks like it looks like some kind of limeade or something. So let's get a nose on it. And see what it is. <laughs> Smells like fresca. Got a little bit of malt in it. Not a whole lot of malt. That is the most prevalent. Just a little bit of pepper. It smells like a wheat beer though. I can smell the wheat. Well, let's try it out. Definitely tell it's a Belgian style ale. Belgian wheat. That's pretty tasty. Be right refreshing. I wouldn't want to drink a lot of these. Well, it's a nice change up. Since we're in Florida, uh, still kind of warm down here. It's a nice beer to have on a nice hot day. So I'm going to sip on this for a little bit and stick around and see what kind of aromas and taste we get out of this. And we'll be back in the final chug and Greg shortly. Stick around. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. We've got a little bit left here in the glass. This is what I call a lawnmower beer. This is a nice, refreshing beer for summertime or you've been working out in the yard and it's hot and sweaty about. 85, 90 degrees, this would be a great beer to have. It's uh, got a little bit of lemon zest, you can taste the lime in it. Pretty good beer, good Belgian style wheat beer. We're going to do the final chug. This is a, this is a pleasant beer. I mean, it's not, it's not an outstanding beer. It's not an above average beer. But it's a decent beer. It's a nice summertime beer. Uh, on a scale, on my one to ten scale, I'd give this beer probably a seven today. Uh, if you've had that beer, let me know what you think of it. If you hadn't had it, and I don't know how far the distribution is on this beer, whether it's uh, out of the, you know out of the state of Florida or what. But uh, seen it here while I was in Florida, so I figured I'd give it a try. So, haven't seen it where I'm from in Virginia, so if you had it, let me know what you think of it. And you had it, and you've seen it, give it a try. Let me know what you think. As always, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe, but before I go, let me tell you the uh, statistics for Rate Beer. Rate Beer gives us a 36 overall and a 34 in the style, and Beer Advocate gave it a B-. minus. That's been a little on the generous side as far as I'm concerned, but it's not my cup of tea. I'm just trying to be a fair, fair judge of what it is, so I'll quit flapping my gums and get out of here. We'll see you on the next beer review.